Hi there. The Sony RX100 makes it really easy to take panorama pictures. So rather than coming home from a vacation uh, with a picture of the Danish parliament like this, you can actually get a whole wide scene like I'm showing you here. And if that is to your liking, then the RX100 makes it really easy to get the job done. It's really simple, as I said. All you have to do is to select the mode uh, that looks like a little square box that has been stepped upon. Uh, could we get you to turn the dial? Yes, and once more, there it is. It looks like a little box as you see here. In terms of setting it up, there are two parameters. One is the size. I think that has to do with how many pictures it uses to make the panorama. And the other one is the direction. I will get back to the direction. You can select that smarter than in the menu system we all love to hate. In terms of execution, you just press the shutter and then you move the camera as instructed on the screen. It's really simple. I think it is as simple as it is on a smartphone. Uh, and as you can see here, once you have turned all the way around, then it processes the image and boom, there is the image. Um, that's all there is to it. As I said earlier in the video, you can select the direction in which the panorama is shot. You can simply turn the ring on the front of the camera and that uh, changes the direction. Very, very simple. Out of the camera comes a picture like this, nicely stitched together. Sometimes you can see there's a little bit of chopping up um, and I think also you should avoid having people or moving objects uh, in, in your frame because they become chopped up. But otherwise, this is all there is to it. But notice that what comes out of the camera is JPEGs. So if you're shooting into the sun or other things that makes uh, it necessary for you to uh, do post-processing of the picture, you know the limitations to JPEG. Um, RAW is the only way to go. And then if you really want to have high quality pictures, there's no alternative to actually take the good old fashioned way of doing it and taking the individual pictures and then stitching them together in post. That's it from me. Thank you for watching. As always, happy shooting. Take care. Bye bye.